Oh my gosh, what is this? No markings though, but he's only $2.50. All right, well today we are at the Black Rose of Hanover. It's the last one remaining, I think. Um, but we're gonna head in here. We're gonna see what we can find, buy and flip for a profit. Um, I only have about 30 minutes though. I don't have a whole lot of time, but I was like, you know what? 30 minutes is 30 minutes. Let's see what we can find in 30 minutes. Um, after that, I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but I have to get back to the shop because today is Wednesday and I have a shop the shop at 4 p.m. Eastern. So um, yeah, I'll figure out I'll figure out where we're going after that, but yeah, let's see what we can find. Here we go. Got some really pretty stuff in this case. 45 on the Cloisonne, and of course, I was checking out this Lalique ring dish. We've had a few of those over the years. <laughs> Got a few of them at Heart of Ohio. Um, this is one of my favorite booths. I usually find fun stuff here. I love that they have their spring display. Easter. This is a limited edition. Of course it's made in Italy. It looks so Italian. This is really cute. What is this? It's $14. We're so close to Easter though. It's left in. My goodness, I really like this. Maybe I'll grab that and sell it on my shop the shop tonight. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. I remember to get it out of the box. I do that a lot. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna sell this tonight. And then the box sits in my car for like two weeks. Um, <laughs> all right, let's see what else we can find in here. Oh, gosh, this dog is so good. Antique cast lead doorstop dog. Oh, he is a little heavy. He's a little hefty. Um. Lots of great pottery in here. This looks similar to the green pitcher I got recently. Rothenburg, Germany. Hmm. Mystery solved. Pilgrim glass. Okay, it's 36 on the fish. Oh my gosh, what is this? You know what he reminds me of is um, Tom Clark. A little bit. No markings though, but he's only two dollars and fifty cents. Green and glass bird. 18. I really like this. This is an elephant candle. Oh, it's a candle stand. I thought that was a vase. It is in fact a candle stand. All right. Let's see if there's anything new in here. Ooh, I kind of like that. How much for that? 56. I don't know if I can do that for resale. I really do love that little guy though. He's very sweet. A very sweet mouth. Let's peek around over here and see if there's anything fresh. I've got a bunch of these vases. <laughs> I sold a few of these on knickknacks recently. They sold pretty well for me. Um, I think I still have a few though. This is adorable, $7. You see the shoes a lot, but you don't really see the <laughs> roller skates. How fun is that? It's like a Victorian shoe with roller blades. I think we'll just buy that because it's fun, right? Oh, look at this. How cool is that? It's $6. Gosh, that's gorgeous. As long as it's not damaged. Oh, that's an old vanity bottle. Wow, I really love that. You must stick that in there for six dollars. Oh my goodness, look at this. That is so cute. Valentine's box. 1925. Wow. I know Kate picks these up when she finds them. I just don't know at 25 firm if I can do anything with that. She would probably know, but she's not here to guide me. And if she were here and she wanted it, I'd probably be like it's yours. These cats. <laughs> There's no price on the cats. Oh, one of them's missing a leg. And those cats are so cute. There's no price. Now what do we have in here? This is really pretty. That looks German. Ooh, Romania. Romanian dish. A 
This is pretty. This is 14. Nice crimped edge. Amethyst glass, only $14. This is adorable. $14, made in Korea. Bunny on a little bicycle. That is terrifying. Retractable blade. <laughs> oh my goodness. You've got like King Kong on there. Terrifying. Those bunnies are kind of cute. Those Wade. I don't know. They kind of remind me of Wade Whimsies. That's why I ask. Even if you guys do tell me. It's going to be too late. I'm not going to know. The marking on the bottom. What does it say? Looks like 445. That does not give us any clues. Okay, well, <laughs> I didn't get much today. I only got a few things. Uh, but as I told you, I was on a bit of a time crunch, and I still think we did pretty good. Um, and unless I find something else, I'll get back to you guys in the car. I found something else. This is Sid and Stricker. Look at how pretty that is. It's nice and pink. <laughs> it's eight bucks. And then this is only $19. Sweet. I'll take that as well. Look at that. I spoke too soon. These are 13 and 14. I do like this snifter. It looks like there's 38 on that. Not sure about that. These buttons are cool. Look at this. Oh, there's so much to see here. What is this? This is $12. Small paperweight. You know what I like about this paperweight is one of the canes is not like the others. <laughs> I find that interesting. So I'm going to buy it. Here are a few Somoyaki cups. Those are Otagiri. I do like that. $8 on the dresser box. Alright, just doing a quick sweep. I do like this slag glass, but that's 30 and I don't know if I can do that and just make a profit. This one is new. So cute. How much? We have 39 firm. And then it is marked. I think we'll take it. Alright, well I decided to bring you guys back here to the shop. Probably no surprise there. Um, but we've got a kind of busy week ahead of us. Um, we have a Shop the Shop sale on Wednesday. Um, and that is happening at 4 p.m. Eastern. I'll put the date up here. Um, and then we also have a Friday sale this week at 4.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, it's not normally that I have a Friday sale, but we have a huge train on knickknacks happening this weekend. Um, and so I wanted to be able to enjoy that and not intervene with their sale um interrupts their sale uh so i decided to have my sale on friday evening so that's what we've got going on um now that we have pre-bids available i wanted to get some stuff pre-loaded so um sage is gonna give me a hand we're gonna get some stuff pre-loaded for these sales um and that means that if you can't be there you can go check out the sale you can pre-bid on some of the items uh, if you're interested and you don't actually have to be there for the sale I mean, I'd love for you to be there for the sale, but you don't have to be there if you're interested in the items. So that's really exciting. But anyway, let's head into the shop and get to work. Here we go. All right, so here we are. Sage is currently at processing. Uh, I think Shelby's coming in tomorrow to do some processing. So um, the tables are gonna be nice and full. Um, I've been setting items aside that were um, preloading. Um, so that people can get bids in on them. Um, I think it's time to move this along. I really love this thing. It's made in India. This kind of reminds me of uh, crows. But what I've been doing is Sage has been preloading the stuff and snapping photos of it. And I'm putting a post-it on them um, with what the item is and the pre-bid of the item. And then she is snapping the photos and loading them into knickknacks. I'm so disappointed. I bought this. Oh, there's a sticker. It's on the bottom. I was going to say I bought this because it had a sticker on it. It's on the bottom. It's not on the side. It's a little pink swung. I'm going to hit it with a magic eraser and see if I can get some of the scuffing off of that. 
do you see that like dark line? I want it to go away so bad. Look at like this line right there. Goodness, I may have filled it a little too high with water. Maybe we'll just let it bubble over in there. It's really cute though. I don't have one that color. Whoa, it's doing something down there. It is, yeah, it's working. Working. <laughs> so, what is inside of here, Sage? Is it money, a or is it note. newspaper? A secret note? Yes. You can see it down in there. I spent like twenty minutes <laughs> trying to get it out. Trying to get it out. What did you use to try to get it out? I was just shaking. You were just shaking. <laughs> oh, I hear it in there. There's like. There's no way to get this out unless I'm you smash gonna, it. I'm gonna have to use like a chisel and a screw and just sort of like, like scrape the bottom. Yes. You know, it's like those dino things, the egg dino things yes. that the kids have. Just get a little water and just start scraping it at the bottom until well, it's chalk, little by little. Yeah, it's chalk. And then if it's like $10,000, you know we're splitting it, right? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> All right, well, since you've named him, <laughs> he's now yours. Thank you. <laughs> you know that came from Shelby, right? Really? Yeah, that was Shelby's. Um, I'm not really sure who makes this. Sage was like, what is that? And I'm like, I think it's a drunk baby. <laughs> wine, a little wine glass. You know what, she kind of reminds me of Laurel. She's very sweet. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I think Instead of focusing on the Wednesday shop the shop sales, since the whole premise of the sale is to literally shop the shop, I think what we're going to do is focus on our Friday sale this week. Um, I'm having a sale on Friday at 4.30 p.m. Um, and I'd like to get some preloads up there. So, um, yeah, let's let's do some preloading. I also bought that from auction. <laughs> I strategically you. placed that cat over there to see how long it would take everybody in the shop to notice. And you were the first one to notice that cat. Yeah, I was like, who let their cat in here? It's eyes. It just watches you. I know. It's so good. Yeah, when you're over here, it's <laughs> like... It is literally watching me. That's why I thought it was like an actual cat. Because I was like... It's straight up watching. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes Andrew to notice. This is my new pet. <laughs> All right, crash tutorial in Knickknacks listing. To auction. Drunk. Oh, drunk, shrunk. <laughs> That's me every time I try to list. Baby. <laughs> so I told Sage to go ahead and put whatever titles she wants because I'm gonna go in and update them before we make them live, oh, so. Wait. Okay, what else do we have? I have these little Higgins dishes over here. Is that one Higgins? No, that one's not marked. I swear that was Higgins. Maybe it's... That one's marked Higgins. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Okay, it's not marked Higgins. I must be losing it. Um, we'll get those two listed. Where there were two Higgins. Definitely a lot of fused glass. That one's marked. This is really cute. I think this is a more contemporary Murano piece. The Millefiore. That might be fun to leave on the table for tomorrow's sale. The fused glass trinket dish. Um, I think this one is co close to Boda. See, I just rinsed it out. It's really pretty purple. Um, this is Aceta Sweden. Bone vase. I learned that from you guys. I'll stick that one in my pocket to bring it back to list it. Hmm. Oh, I know. We've got a few people asking about this little guy. <laughs> Look at him shaking in there. It help that my hand's shaking. Um, we'll include that. It does say Higgins. 
It's on the front of the dish. The other one's on the back. I'm like looking at this dish. I'm like, I know I have two that say Higgins. And it's right there. Where did I get that from? I don't even remember this. I'm assuming it glows. <laughs> Wait a second. Where did that come from? Oh yeah. Did I get that with the glowy stuff? Maybe I did. It glows like crazy. All right, that's going in my pocket. Check out all of these bird swizzle sticks. These are the best ever. And I'm kind of like, I want to keep those. But also, I have no reason to have swizzle sticks. It's just silly for me to even have swizzle sticks. I don't need them. Ooh, there's a toucan. <gasps> I love him. Got some gans in here. What I'm really looking for, I'm like, as soon as the sale, the shop the shop sale ended today, I was on a mission to find the Sasha Brastov that I know is somewhere in these boxes. That's really what I'm trying to find. Ah, the Sasha Brastov box. I knew it was in here somewhere. Like if I just dig long enough, look at all this. <laughs> like, this was in a lot of things, and I just spotted it. And it was turned like this, but I saw like the bit of signature, and I'm like, I swear, I know what that is. And um, sure enough, it's Sasha B. So I'm gonna list this for Friday. We just had a little uh, a little trinket dish sell pretty well for us, so um, that makes me inspired to list more. So we're gonna include this. I believe this would have been a cigarette box. Yeah, pieces like this are usually cigarette box, but nowadays they're repurposed into trinket boxes and all sorts of things. All right, if you guys remember these are the carts. This is the cart. And that um, that Sage pulled off the shelves that still needs listed and we've kind of narrowed it down not too shabby uh, but I pulled some uh, Waterford off the shelf so uh, we're gonna we're gonna try that on a live sale and see what happens I've always been of the opinion that Waterford does better as buy it now um, but we're gonna give it a try I got this at Goodwill so um, I can afford to <laughs> sell it for undervalue if that happens. I prefer it sells for what it's worth, but um, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't. Um, so this is a cigar ashtray. You can see that the slots are a little bit larger. Um, about the size of my finger, and that is for cigars. And I think last time I checked, it sells for about $58 to $65. But I picked this up a while ago, and the prices do fluctuate. So I don't know how much it's worth now, but... There's the Waterford marking right there. All right, well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed hanging out here at the shop with me and Sage. We got a little bit of work done. Um, got some items pre-loaded. Um, Sage is now listing, she's now learning how to list, um, which is kind of exciting. So I'm kind of guiding her on how to list um, and I'm writing post-its for her. This is what the item's called. This is what we're starting it at. And um, she's doing a really great job. So um, we're gonna continue to work together and I'm gonna help, help her along. Um, but she's gonna help me preload some of my sales. And um, yeah, hopefully we, uh, we get some stuff moving so we can move to the new place. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys can join us on Wednesday and again on Friday. And uh, yeah, I guess I will uh, see all of you guys tomorrow. So long.